So we're here on Marine Corps Base Quantico at the Marine Corps Systems Command Grunt Works. That's because the Marines are developing new and fielding new sizes and types of body armor and plate carriers. And that's important because when you're in the battlefield, one shot can make a big difference. So Gunner Hutchison, I understand we have a new plate carrier for the Marines, uh, different sizes and different uh, ways of putting it together. Could you tell us a little about what we, the Marines had before and what they have now? Yeah, of course. So before we had the PC Gen 2, uh, and it come in um, your standard sizes that was out there. And then recently we moved up to PC Gen 3. This is what we have listed back here. So the PC Gen 3 is interesting because it's modular in sense. So going from you know full setup as you see here, or it can go down to a slicker setup as you see here. One of the additions that went to it is we got away from the standard, you know, small, medium, large, extra large plates, and we started getting into more of the um, ergonomics of the plates that fit the actual individual. So meeting, you know, from one scale all the way to the other scale so that we capture actually more of the sizes and more of the actual fit of the person. Now it might, might seem obvious to someone who's used body armor, but for someone who's not, why is the fit so important? Yeah, so the fit's an important thing because, you know, um, you know, efficiency, movement, all all the things that we go into. So when you have something generally that doesn't fit you properly, it, it takes a lot of energy out of you. So when we start getting things that you know fit your body more in a a, um, a form factor, more form fit, then you actually save you know your your energy, your endurance as you're going because you're not. That's one less thing that you're fighting. You know, you have something that fits properly and it fits to your body the right way. So now that's one less thing that you have to continue to worry about in the sense of you know one thing eating away from energy on you know, the missions that you go out on. Now some people might say, well, this looks a lot smaller than what you've seen before. Back in the past, we had like much larger body armor. So how does this provide the protection you need, even though it's a smaller, uh, it's a smaller form? Yeah, great question. So a, a lot of science has went into this. So when they look at these things, you know, when they break it down, as you can see in the plates that we have here for the vital you know, parts, the vital organs, we've tried to slim it down in a sense that one, it covers all the things that are necessary. And the amount of research and you know, um, technology that's went into this is not the plates of old. You know, we're, we're at today it's fitting the things that we need as we have laid out here as well as making it modular in the sense that it fits you know, in the most ergonomical means necessary for the individual user and I couldn't talk about body armor without talking about weight. So um, obviously carrying a lot of weight back in the past, things have gotten lighter over time. Can you tell us about the difference in weight and, uh, and, and feel, I guess, between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3? Yeah, so weight is always a big thing um, when you go out, especially on your, your missions, you're walking around with this for long periods of time. Uh, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain mindset. So just by going with the laser cut technology that we have in the vest, you know, the ones before in the PC Gen 2, it was the weaving that was stitched on the fabric was all stitched on so by taking that out and actually three or uh, laser cutting into the vest we've been able to shave weight it's most optimal so gunner can we go over and take a look at what the uh, pc2 and the pc3 look like side by side yeah of course awesome all right so what what's what's new and different about this right now all right, so as you can see, the first feature is all of the weaving is off all the stitching and it's it's uh, laser cut so you know it still has the uh, attachment points for all of your accessories, grenade pouches, magazine pouches, first aid kits are all there. But what they found through research is shaving um, or taking the webbing off and laser cutting it saves 25% in weight reduction. So going from that to this is, is, is pretty substantial. So when you look some of the, the added changes, you still have the quick connects up here. And now you have these releases on either side as opposed to the pull cord that was just on the one side of the PC Gen 2. Configuration, the differences in between this one and that one is this one is a full setup, which then can break all the way down to a setup similar to this. The advantages of all of the setups and the modularity is you still maintain the soft armor protection as well as the sappy protection that's needed. Uh, one of the things that um, we see is when you transition, People will ask the question, well, what about the armor level protection? The armor level protection remains the same throughout all of the configurations of this one because you still maintain the soft armor inside and you still main the, maintain the sappies. Well, what kind of feedback have you been getting so far from Marines who've been able to use the new vest? 
Yeah, so, so far the, the new vest consists in our infantry and infantry like, as well as our infantry schoolhouses. And the feedback has been extremely well. Everyone seems to like the modularity of it. Everyone seems to like the, the new plates that go into it that you know, are more ergonomic for the individual user. Um, you know, the days of the past of, of um, one size fits most, we're, we're going with that. You know, as we continue to you know, shape and modernize, we're, we're getting things that are specifically fitted to the individual. So when they go to the issue facility, they're sized and they're matched up for the you know, proper gear that they need by individual. So you know, as they go through in, in the past, it's you sort of had the, the standard setups of the small, medium, large, extra large. And if you were in between, you just sort of had to fall in which one you know, fit, fit better. Hey Gunner, thanks. This has been pretty super interesting. We're gonna go find out a little bit more about how it's been engineered. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Trevor, thanks for joining us. Could you tell us a little bit about your role in developing this plate carrier? Uh, yes, I'm an engineer for the individual armor team. Okay. And so we've had plate carriers before, but what went into developing this particular design? Yeah, so one of the things we have to talk about with any design of our equipment is that we designed it with requirements. So it's not just us sitting down with good ideas, it's all requirement based. Um, and so the PC Gen 3, we have uh, significant weight reduction that offers a, a wider range of sizes to better fit all Marines. So I know they're all different sizes, so a little bit different weights, but on average, how much did the, uh, the previous plate carrier weigh and how much does it weigh now? Yeah, so the uh, PC Gen 3 uh, reduces weight by about 25% from the legacy plate carrier. Um, so it was about eight and a half pounds for the uh, size medium and legacy, and it's six and a half pounds now for a size medium. And I understand um, design-wise, there were some design features that you guys worked on. Um, what did you guys have to develop to make those changes? Yeah, so one of the ways we were able to decrease, uh, decrease weight is by using lighter weight materials. Um, so we have the laser cut, as you can see, for using for the PALs, uh, which is where you attach your pouches. Um, and then one of the biggest advances has been soft armor. Um, we have a lot better soft armor technology in this vest, which has uh, led to that decrease in weight. Even since the initial fielding of the PC Gen 3, we've already made some, some minor changes to it from feedback that we've received from Marines. Um, some of the things that we were seeing is that we were having some durability issues with the tubes on the side that we're pulling out. Uh, we've had issues with the uh, slide fastener underneath where the plate goes in, and then some other um, issues with the hook and loop fastener, which is how everything attaches. So what we were able to do is, um, through engineering change proposals, we were able to, to make some uh, adjustments, and uh, we fixed those problems now. So the plate carrier doesn't just stand alone. A Marine doesn't go into combat or training just, just carrying a plate carrier. Um, there are other parts of the system. Can you talk about any change that might have been made to those pieces of the system? Sure, yeah. It, so it goes back to uh, the requirements that I was talking about before. And in 2016, we received a new fit attribute requirement. And this means that we have to now fit the second percentile female to the 98th percentile male Marine. Previously, it was just the fifth to 95th Marine. So now we have those new fit attributes, and which means we need some smaller sizes to fit uh, the entire population of the Marine Corps. So since the USMC pack was developed prior to 2016, we needed to come up with some new sizes in order to fit that smaller population of Marines. So we came up with the short shoulder harness and the small hip belt, and this is able to better fit those uh, short torsoed, smaller statured Marines. So um, the different kinds of sizes of, of, of stature Marines have, uh, have different options for fitting the gear, not only the plates themselves, but also the gear that kind of connects to it. Correct, yeah. So something that's very important with the pack is, is actually how the shoulder harness fits and the torso length of the person that's wearing it. So you want it to be able to sit on, all the weight to be able to sit on your hips. And by having a, a short shoulder harness, we're able to move that hip belt onto the hips where it best uh, is able to support that load. Did some of that development come from Marines using and testing the gear? Yes, absolutely, yeah. We were finding that um, they weren't able to have the hip belt in the correct place on their hips in order to best uh, support that load they were carrying. Um, so this uh, is what led to the development of the short shoulder harness and the small hip belt, and they're now at the issue facilities for Marines to go and pick up. Well, thanks so much for talking with us, Trevor. Uh, we're not going to find out a little bit more about how those plates are developed and designed. So, Bridget, we've talked a lot about the plate carriers, but I'd like to know a little bit more about the plates themselves. Could you tell me a little bit about these? Yeah, so we have three new plate sizes. We have the extra small short, we have the small, the small short and the small long sizes. And the reason we created these three new sizes is to accommodate for the second percentile female to 98th percentile male uh, Marine. And these also fit the shorter and uh, smaller stature Marines. In addition to these new plate sizes, we also have two different types of hard armor plates. We have the ESAPI plate right here. Uh, which is currently being used right now. 
And then these are the new lightweight plates that are currently being fielded oh, as well. A lot lighter. So not only is the plate carrier lighter, the plates themselves are a little bit lighter. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the lightweight plates are 33% lighter than our current ESAPI plates, and this increases mobility about 8%, um, which increases survivability as well. So, Well, the plates are probably the most important part of the plate carrier, so thanks for explaining this to us. We're going to go see some Marines actually wearing and moving around these in this new gear. Awesome. So here at my feet, I have the PC Gen 2, and these two Marines have the PC Gen 3. I'm going to don this gear, and then they're going to don that, and you can see the difference in how you put it on and take it off. I'm walking through here, putting this Velcro around my belly. Don't look too close to the belly. Ah, where my other slap? There. Okay. Once I get that nice and snug, and then other Velcro. Right in front. And then secure it down. Ready to go. Marines, can you show us how the Gen 3 is done? So they're just going to throw this right over their head, take the cummerbund, attach it to the slots, uh, either up or down, slides right in, and they're ready to go. So you've seen how we put it on, but now in an emergency to take it off, there are two different methods, one for this old version and then one for a new version. You got to unclip here and then pull hard out and it falls. Marines, do you mind showing us how, how yours come off? So we've seen a lot about the plate carrier generation three and for more, tune in at militarytimes.com.